Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I'm one of them. I'm, I'm 65 now, so okay. I'm not really young, but out of good family, you know, I, I was the worstest child my daddy had. Bad boy in Chicago, you know, up and down the streets uh, robbing the telephones. And, uh, hey, Man. dimes and nickels was was just like uh, robbing a piggy bank. Mm. But yeah. at 10 years old, you said that's when it turned because your mom had passed away. But what attracted you to the streets? What uh, and, and what did you see? Well, as I got older, I become... Uh, as she passed, I went to school. I got an education. Mm. My dad made sure I went to school. I went to school. But I, I, I seen uh, guys uh, live the fast life. I just always wanted to be a superstar, and I became mm -hmm. a superstar. But what made me wanted to stay in the streets, man, I liked it, the pretty cars, you know, with the white walls on it, the kitchen, stuff like that. You know, hey, man. So that what changed my life. I didn't want to be the doctor or the lawyer, man, but uh, I know we used to be in church all the time preaching pre preaching and singing for the Lord, and I just got tired, you know, and mm. I just, man, seen them pretty cars, and man, I just started living the street life. You know, I thank God I never got drunk or got high off of drugs, but I was just riding. I think I was like 17 years old or 18 years old when I met my friend, Bishop Don Magic. Wow. Man, that's when you met him? I met him. How you did know. you meet him? Man, I was uh I was young and I had a I had a pretty Cadillac. Pretty, pretty, pretty powder blue Cadillac. Wow. And what I was about a uh 72, 73. Ooh. I met Bishop back then. Mm -hmm. And he was riding in a Rolls Royce. Ooh, Ooh back Rolls then. Royce. And he be calls me now. Them Rolls Royce. Yeah, you all, yeah, night? yeah, all of them. You seen them? Yeah, I seen them cars last night. night. It was two brand new Rolls Royce. Yeah, I seen them. I got like thirty some Rolls Royce in there. Wow. That was the best thing in my life as coming up in the game. He was a sharp dude, man. Tall, slim, had a big sombrero hat on, green and gold. Jack, this guy <laughs> green and gold. He say that. Man, I seen this cat, and so we became best friends. So we riding down the street in my cat, like he riding his road, he, he blowing at me. He told me to pull over. I think that was like in 74, 73 or something. He did the, the big player ball. Yeah, 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 y'all mm -hmm. remember that. We was doing them on me, and I mean, on. I remember them happening, you know what I mean? We was doing them on and on, so that's where me and him became best of friends. I got in the car, rode with him. I said, man, what is this, Batman car? He said, no, man, this is a Rolls Royce, man. So it was a sharp. That was my first time got in the Rolls Royce, uh, man. Uh, I think he had a silver shot, a 62 or 63. Man, he had naked women's all painted on his on car. The, man. man, he was one custom of the- Custom work all custom the Custom work, and one of the baddest cars, because I done been around a lot of players in the town. He we the become, baddest one. We become friends, that's 48 years, so that's, we did a party, and we invite Ice T to come in. Okay, you know at the I, time that, that was the that, that was the that wasn't a movie. This is just a party. There was the party. That's, but did you know him at the time when you invited him, or you just invited him? Well, at the time, you know, riding with Bishop, man, this man, I done been to the White House with him, man. I mean, this man had been everywhere, so he was like a hero. I was shocked because I had my mother. Brothers were some cold players and Max back then. Okay. And I didn't want to uh, be what a lot of brothers wants to be. I always wanted to be a superstar. Mm -hmm. But see, when we bumped in head with Ice-T, it was cool. He was rapping and a game banger. So Bishop told him, say, hey, man, if you want to join the famous players, come on. So he stepped up. He came around for about 10 years, hanging with us and kicking it, man. But... At the time, man, he was bad. Ice T was cold. Whatever he did, he was sharp, man. Yeah. So he did. I, I forgot the name of the video. He did. He was a. Uh, he was sharp. I think he had a white suit and with two girls on the side. Of yeah, him. yeah, 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 yeah. The players. I, uh, yeah. He had. He had a couple of. A he couple was of bad, bad jam, man. He too. was cold. When a pimp falls off into a bitch's head, he puts her in the state of suspended animation. I knock a bitch. You know, my idol's Iceberg Slim. I name myself after. If I'm going to sit up and break a bitch down. Until he bumped Coco. Okay. Mm. And Coco shed his player game down. <laughs> and he become the guy, be a family man. He married. But That's that was right. the best thing he ever could 
Mm-hmm. Receiving his life was Coco. How was it when you guys, um, you know, th- when this picture took place that we talked about? Well, we, he called Bishop and said, man, I want y'all guys to marry me. See, because Bishop was the chairman of the board, a famous player organization. And see, I stood on the top of the, uh, of the world of church. Everybody holler church. Church, yeah. I'm the originator of church. Been had a patent for 25 years. Wow. So Bishop and Snoop Dogg took it to another level. Level. But when Ice T stepped up, Bishop said, "Man, you sure you want to marry this girl?" He said, "Yeah, man, I'm in love." He said, "I can't a pimp and player fall in love, Ice T." He said, "Man, I don't know, man, but I'm in love." So Bishop took his player's card from him and told him, "Get on out of here." Yeah, took it from. Took his player's card from him. So pimps and players do not fall in love. Well. If you run across the right chick, you know, anything can bust the cap. Right, because so, I've, yeah, I've heard a lot of pimps say that they love their hoes. Well, see, Ice-T and Bishop, them, they was they was pimps. I was always been a superstar in Candy, man. Them boys, they was back there pimp. You know, I feel, you know, that they can take it to another level. But, man, mm-hmm. when you meet the baddest chick and see, uh, some guys got about 12, 13 girls. Right. And so they mind they did this for the money, like Bishop. Mm-hmm. He done had 20, 20 of them, 15 or 20 of them. The man don't know how to do nothing. He don't know how to change a tire on a car. He really just learned how to put gas in the car. No. Yeah. One time we was at a club at a player ball. We come out because he won the crown. I got yeah. to give him his credit. He, he won the crown. Bishop took the crown, man. We went to we New York. We went to Florida. Where we go? He took the crown. Mm-hmm. So we came out one day. They done cut all his ties. So I'm looking. I'm going to try to get him some some help, man. So at the time, we didn't have a number of beepers back then. Yeah, so yeah, I yeah, beep yeah. him, said, man, where you at? When he called me, he said, I'm, he got to a pay phone to call me. He said, man, I'm driving. I said, how you driving? He drove the whole car to the west side on flats. <laughs> <laughs> I said, man, at least you could have tried to fix that. He said, what is that? He, he don't know how to fix a flat. He ain't mm. even trying to hear it. He, he ain't got time for it, man. Man, so you like, like, so how was it? Like, what did you guys have to go to California or where did you guys marry Ice T at? I think we was in California, in Cali, California, New York, Canada. Where we was at? California. Man, what we, we, I was like his best man standing there. He was crying. Ice T crying. No. <laughs> Oh. Man, me and Bishop Aww. humping each other, and he crying. I said, "Look at this big pimp." <laughs> he crying. <laughs> Dang it, boy. Bishop, he said, "That's why I took his player's card. He not ready. He fell in love." I said, "Man, he fell in love. Man, look at shy with Coco. Coco finds that like pretty as mm-hmm. she can be." So I, she said, "Man." It is what it is, man. He said, "I got tired running with y'all anyway. I got in trouble all the time." <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.